trigger warning, this episode contains sexual abuse context and also offensive language. <laughs> What's up, everybody, and welcome again to another episode of Talks with N. Hey, everyone. Uh, so today's um, episode, we had to, um, we couldn't use the wheel generator because um, there was technical difficulties at the studio, and I went out and tried to buy like a mixer board, and it was the wrong one. <laughs> so um, yeah, so we had to go back to uh, ancient times, I guess, and use what we needed to do. <laughs> Anyways, so we're just gonna get right into it. Um, yeah, so read out the topic. What's the topic for today? So the topic for today is um, what are your guys' thoughts on ignorant guys who cannot respect the concept of women waiting till marriage to have sexual intercourse? Mm. Well, well, well. <laughs> <laughs> that was a long question. <laughs> that was a long one. So to break it down... Basically, why guys what what won't take no for an answer when it comes to sexual intercourse? Yeah, yeah? like mm. waiting till marriage. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Well, I mean, I'm just gonna say, well, my perspective. I would say that either there's a few different reasons why, but I think maybe one of the reasons might be that they've grown up in a home where they haven't been taught how to respect a woman yeah mm. yeah i agree so it's like monkey see monkey do yeah yeah oh mm. well, i don't know but yeah because well i <laughs> yeah. mean it's different because yeah. Yeah. some people have been taught to respect yeah. women but still do the, the guys still do it yeah so like you know that doesn't explain that but it could be just you know like yeah their natural you know drive <laughs> the urges. urges but i don't think that that should be a reason for anything at all it doesn't matter if you you know obviously we all know that males have higher urges than women you know their hormones and stuff like that but i don't think that's just a cop out like you know what i mean mm. but then um i i think for this question it's hard for me to answer as to why um, what arrogant men can't take no I don't know why some mm-hmm. guys are, are, are gronks like I, I really don't know like I can't answer that because we're not guys so we don't know <laughs> or we haven't been in that position where we've um, you know taken advantage of another person or have you <laughs> um, not, not taken no. advantage of the other yeah, person okay. but <laughs> I mean no. <laughs> but being if taken advantage was. of yes oh yeah yeah, yeah, that's a good one. I think the whole respect thing, what you mentioned was was a good one because I feel that if the guy can't respect you enough to respect the fact that you respect your own body as a woman, then I don't think that he would respect you in the long run. Yeah, Does that makes sense. Like in the, mm. that's part of the red flag. One of the yeah, red flags yeah. that we mentioned in one of in a, the yeah. episodes is that recognizing one of the red flags is that if he can't like respect you in that way like if you say no mm. yeah you know what yeah. i mean what if like i'm gonna just try to vouch for the boys a little bit here <laughs> not not fully but but like going back to like the way that they were brought up like you know how girls I've, I've heard some girls where they feel that if he loves me and like say what beyonce says if you if you like put a ring on it if he loves me he's gonna put a ring on it but then what if it's coming from the boy's perspective like well if you love me you're gonna put my ring your ring on me what? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, like, do you get what I mean? No, I don't get no, what I mean. Like, I'm sorry, in, I didn't so get... the girls will use that word, like, marry me. You, to show that you love me, you're going to put a ring on it. Like, you're going to marry me. But what is but that got to do with like, the topic? I'm no, I'm, the, the reason why I'm, is because maybe that's why. Like, the girl thinks that the guy's like, um, like, why isn't he, like, respecting the fact that I don't want to do it until we get married? But what if he's like, no, I want you to give me your ring. Okay, metaphorically speaking, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yes, yeah. And then first, do you know what I mean? To show that you love me. Oh, yeah. Like, do you know? Like, uh, you, yeah, yeah. Does that yeah. make sense? So it's like, what if it's like ring? Mm. I need ring for a ring. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, you're but, saying yeah. that, but I'm just saying like, what True, if that's, that could be like yeah, another. like what if mm. that's his way of seeing it? Like, oh, you're saying that if I love you, I'll put it, like, I'll, I'll marry you. Like, I'll give you a ring. But like me, what if I'm like, what if he's thinking, well, if you love me, like to show that you love me and to say like, maybe... He wants to make sure that she is going to stay with him 
Does that make sense? So it's like, let's do it. If you love me, we're going to do it. Like, if we're going to be together forever, then we might as well just no, do it. No, but if someone doesn't want to, you can't use that against them. You're just manipulating the whole situation. Like, I get what, what you're saying. Um, we well, trying to say is yes. that a guy saying, well, if you love me, you have to have sex with me. That's, but if the girl has said no, then it's a fucking no. You don't turn around and say, well, if you love me, you'll do it. I think when people use that as a cop out, like, well, if you love me, you'll do it. That's just, that's just manipulating a person, taking advantage of their vulnerability. And I don't agree with that at all. I know you're but trying it works to vouch. Both ways. I know it does work both ways. Cause I know that there are some girls that lead guys to that point and then all of a sudden she's like stop i don't want to but yeah, you you're all true. naked it's like what well, what are we doing like doing a no, portrait of each other like the what? whole ring thing like girls do do that like if you love me then why don't you marry me already or like well why then you, like, well then me? that's the thing for the guys if you're not ready and if a girl is doing that then be like back the fuck up bitch yeah i'm not well, ready that's what I mean, like, you know what like I mean? it works both ways do you know what yeah I mean? but that's like, different you can't use a ring like a like a ring <laughs> compared to sex like when some, and her ring yeah and her ring i was i don't know why but i actually thought of um a burger ring that she had. i was like wait what and i was like what are we talking about right now then, no, but then i make sense like you, yeah, yeah i think you after you, you like you yeah, kept so, yeah, about yeah, that, I had to, <laughs> don't ever use that metaphor ever again please <laughs> But I think if we go back to what you said, and about how um, the girl will be like, you know, she's she she leads him on, yeah, and mm. then she's like standing there, and then all of a sudden changes her mind. Um, I think maybe the guy is unaware, like that, you know, because like you said, she's gotten there in in that yeah. position. Maybe you're either not like voicing your opinion strong enough that okay no because he should still stop even if you yeah if you changed your mind in that in that time and some people actually would disagree on that like like i've seen it a few times that it comes in the news where we've seen it with a few like you know football player players or people that we know mm. um that when a girl leads a guy to that point and you know mm. i don't like to um put it on the victim or anything that um what i'm trying to say is that by law doesn't matter if you are naked and you're laying next to each other. If a girl or a guy says no, then you have to stop. Mm. Oh. Regardless, yeah. if regardless of like, oh, but like we've got this far. It doesn't matter if you got far. Doesn't matter if you've already put the condom on. If it's a no, mm. then it's a no. Yeah, Not, that's it. And then you can go home, go and put on a a movie or something that you want to like. <laughs> there are other ways. There's <laughs> other ways. They've got local <laughs> shops for you guys. You know what I mean? Like, there's other ways, like on how to, you know, satisfy yeah, yourself. Satisfy yeah. yourself. Yeah. Just, just, I don't know what something. Mm. Yeah, but that's my opinion on. If there's no respect, oh yeah, I just yeah, going back to the girls' point of view that if our listeners listening. Um, I, yeah, if you can't respect the fact that you are saying no, mm. then I don't think that he will respect you in the long run. Because mm. mm. most girls, um, I think they look at that. It's, it's an important thing for them. Mm. You know, it's like, um, like, as we mentioned in the last podcast too, the whole virginity thing, um, you know, it's a big thing for them. It's not some, some, for some girls, it's like so precious that, they only want to give it to one person and one person mm. only, and that's to the person that they love and want to marry. Yeah. Or and marry, I should say. And I guess sometimes guys just don't, um, some guys don't agree with that. They just mm. want to, like, add to their score. Yeah. Yeah. They think with their penis than thinking yeah. with their brain. And sometimes they do just think that, well, we're going to get married anyway. Let's just do it. Yeah, mm. they do. You know? Yeah, they do Those say ones? That. I've said that once. No jokes, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, man, that's yeah. I don't. I can't. I don't know if we can really answer that because if you think about it, what guy would admit to saying yes? I forced myself on a girl, even though she said no. You know what I mean? Like yeah. no one will admit to that because there will be so many guys in jail for that. Actually, like, I think you know? I have heard some guys admit it. And be like, well, I thought she wanted it. You know, they say those. So I was like, well, oh, I thought yeah. she. Oh, gave like, me the wrong impression. Yeah, yeah. 
And girls, stop giving them the wrong impression. <laughs> no, just... Well, you know, some girls try and play that hard to get. Like, they like it when it's, like, you know, rough. Yeah. yeah. So maybe the guy doesn't understand that, yeah. like, it's it's a no. But they think, oh, she wants it. She just wants yeah, me to be in control. To yeah. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah really. that's true. Because I, I did read, though, that, um, like, you know, women that, or, you know, men um, that have been raped, it's more so a power thing for men. Mm. Um having that power over women. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's because... Would it be the way that they were raised or what they've seen? It can be. I think it can be anything, everything. Either. But most things do come from, you know, what, the, they've, been yeah, what they've been through, what they've seen. Um, also, some things can also develop from addictions, mm-hmm. um, drug addictions, you know, being even alcoholic, you know. Or, or sometimes people are just, like, sexually frustrated. That mm-hmm. that's the way that they, mm. you know, release all their anger or their frustration is that they, they don't they can't take no for an answer, especially if like the girl that they love or they want to be with is telling him no we can't have sex I want to wait till we're married, mm-hmm. and I think it's important for for this listener to, to also understand you know um, that if. If you don't feel comfortable and if you've already said no, but he's persistent and and he's pressuring you, then have some self love, have some self respect, mm. and just leave, mm. because yeah. that just shows that he doesn't value you as mm. a, a future wife, as a future mother of your of your children, you know, or as a person, you know. And I think that's important to understand. But also knowing that we're not um, professionals in this field, <laughs> have to keep saying that. Um, but you know we love sharing our opinions and also experiences or maybe that's all he knows anyway mm. like from previous relationships maybe you know you date and then he's probably went on to second base and whatnot so then he must have thought oh she's the same like that's how it goes mm. that's how it mm. works it's like you know date and then just whatever and then this whole thing new it must be like a new thing to him where it's like he's probably like shocked that like someone saying no to him or something well, I think it's important for parents to teach mm. their boys at a very young age on what respect is. Because mm. I remember listening to this on the radio, um, like in the beginning of the year, where um, you know how when when like your your girls come to us or like my nieces come to me and say, "Oh, this boy was picking on me at school," and you know, people always say, "Oh, it probably just means he likes you," and then that's it. Mm. But mm. no. That's, you know, when I was listening to the radio and I was like, man, that's so true. Um, at that point, that's when we tell, you know, we tell the daughters like, okay, that wasn't right. We need to go to school. We need to do something about it. Just so that she knows that, it's not that okay. what he's done, even if he likes mm-hmm. her, punching her and pushing her and calling her names, that's unacceptable. Mm-hmm. I don't yeah. give a shit. I, I hate when people are like, they're just children. Oh, yeah, well, your children's going to grow up and be gronks. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? And then also... Teaching your children, like if if your son says he's got a crush, because we know our nephew's got a crush, and I'm like, bro. But you know, he's, um, um, you know, and we talk to him about it, like, okay, what is it about, you know, what you like, you know, teach them at a young age, you know, not saying teach, you know, be um, what's it called, like, be smart about it, teaching mm, your children. Mm. We're not gonna teach them freaking adult stuff, but you know what I mean, like, <laughs> it's teaching them it's okay to like somebody, um, and if you do, you don't hit them, you know what I mean. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know it's yeah, that's a good 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 few pointers there. Also, I sorry, just to add one more thing, if um we have like guy listeners, you know, if you don't know whether a girl is saying no, it's also important to understand um body language because she could mm. be acting like she but she's pushing away from you, like she doesn't want it. You know what mm. I mean? So, I mean, there's yeah, like. Yeah, like, boundaries that I reckon boundaries. sometimes it doesn't hurt to ask. Yeah, I reckon. Like, like, can I kiss you? <laughs> Wait, can I lay on top of you? Like, you know, it's, it's not gonna hurt. Yeah, because she might yeah. like, you know, it's just to, yeah, be comfortable. <laughs> no, and just yeah, and if you <laughs> if you don't want to, and if you like say that like you want to wait for marriage. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean. If you want to wait for marriage, then um. Yeah, just make it very specific to the guy. Be like, I don't yeah. want to. Yeah, but from the get-go, yeah, from the yeah. get-go yeah. just be like, we, you know, so it's true. good that we spend time together. But, but if you know, I, I would say like, if you know that you like, 
try to avoid putting yourselves in the in a position where you will feel uncomfortable if that makes sense mm. like the like for instance the environment like, yeah. yeah like oh come over to my house tonight or watch i'm alone movie. my parents are gone <laughs> yeah sharing tonga come over <laughs> And like, like well, experience? come over, yeah. And he's gonna be like, oh, yeah, come over, and you know, like, like, like yeah. let's have dinner. Like, why yeah. do let's we have be to go? real? Like, yeah, let's come be real. On, like, That's very obvious as yeah. to what's gonna happen and what might happen. Or like when you get dropped off home, and then it goes quiet when they turn the car off. Like, and okay, I gotta go. There. Yeah, like what? And then like, <laughs> just telling you straight, like, just open the door, and get out. It's like, yeah. all right, see ya. Thanks. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, I think but, yeah, it's choose important. your yeah, be wise about it. Like, if you want to. um yeah, along those lines, like, oh, come over. No, it's no. Mm. Hang out during the day, you know. Um, don't give him, like, ideas that, yes. You want me to come over tonight? Yes, <laughs> I'm coming. Oh, you want to watch a movie and have a few? Yes. Yeah, but then I also <laughs> think at the same time, like, if you're going to go over, like, it doesn't give anybody the opportunity to take advantage of you. Because yeah. mm. sometimes, like, you do just want to hang out. Yeah. You know, especially if it's somebody that you're attracted to, it doesn't mean you want to go and be sexual with them. It's just enjoying their company. Yeah. You know what I mean? But so I think them trying to... And it, I don't know, it's one, it's one of those things, this question it's just like it can go yeah. in every direction yeah because sometimes they get like the wrong impression and then it's just like oh they just took everything out of proportion <laughs> mm. and then already they're like already laying there naked or something yeah. <laughs> and then you're like oh shit i just came here like just to like hang out like yeah. to really yeah. chill yeah especially when they say like netflix and chill yeah i know I when i first know, said that, i yeah. actually thought it meant actually netflix like and netflix chill. and actually but now chill. i know that it meant <laughs> that netflix chill and chill <laughs> 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 yeah, that's why I don't say Netflix and chew anymore. I'm like, oh, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so to the listener who sent this, that's our opinions on it. Um, know your worth, know your value, mm-hmm. and um, be strong enough to let him know no. Mm. No is no, and if he does not accept that, I highly recommend you to find somebody else because he doesn't truly love you. For yeah. you. Mm-hmm. And if you're a guy and you're listening and you're one of those ones that doesn't know boundaries, um, yeah, it's nothing wrong with asking the girl like, oh, wait, so when you touched my thigh, that just meant something else or you were just generally touching my thigh. Like, you know, I think it's important to communicate. <laughs> you know what I mean? We, <laughs> it's like, it's like, oh, so when you're laying there naked, you were just... Oh. <laughs> Did you want me to paint the Mona yeah, like, Lisa? Uh, become you, you Titanic? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah, no, but you know what I mean? Like, yeah. um, and that's one thing that we don't get taught much um, as Pacific Islanders is yeah. how to um, express yeah, what we yeah. really feel and what we want. Because sometimes what we want is different to what we're feeling, what we need type yeah. of thing. Um, but... If you're a guy that um, has those urges and you are struggling when it comes to females saying no because you want that power, you need help, like professional help. I know, like, because that is, it's, it's, I don't know, but it's not a behavior that I would ever stand by. It's, I don't care about the way you were raised. I don't care about your surroundings, but you don't take advantage of somebody sexually at all. And this is sh- this is also for the women. Because I know women rape men, but no one talks about it. Mm. Because... Mm. Or women... What? Yeah, I was going to say, what do you have... What, what's your opinion or like, what something you want to tell the guys who might be saying the same where they want to wait, but the girl's like, no. I don't come. think... I think <laughs> men like, need to know, like... Um, if, you know, if they have been raped, like, mm. you know, cause it, it does happen. Um, it doesn't make you less of a person or of a man when you speak up saying, you know, for example, I was beaten up by a woman or mm. I was raped by a woman, mm. you know, because guys that has happened, but no one talks about it. Mm. Mm. You know what I mean? Because, you know, there's this stereotype, this negative stereotype on men that they have to be macho. They have to like sex, but some men, they probably don't. Mm. And some men actually want to wait, but it's the, the women that are, that are thirsty are so- <laughs> you know what i mean like you know they they, they they're thirsty like yeah, you know what i mean yeah but um so this is for both yeah this is and for both like, mm, and yeah. yeah go get help like every i think you know it's it's important to get help um i don't think yeah i don't know but if you have real like urges and you just want to release all that energy steam there are other ways there are other ways, <laughs> other ways. besides yeah, violating <laughs> 
you know, besides <laughs> violating another person, you know, there are there are other ways. You, you just Google it. There are other ways. Bloody hell. We don't need to say it. You know what I mean? But if you're like um, a religious type of person and you don't know what to do, then go and speak to someone mm. that in your church or better yet, just go see your GP. Go and say that you need to you need help. There's nothing wrong with saying I need help with my sexual drive. <laughs> my urges. No, sorry, like we're not we're not laughing at that. They're laughing because yeah. like just because you didn't know the word. Yeah, I didn't know the word. I was yeah. I was about to lie and make up my own word. But um, yeah, like you need help. There's nothing wrong with saying that because we all have our own addictions and not you know we all don't want to talk about it because like it's it is like it's one of those things where they say it's embarrassing, but it's also taboo in the in our culture. We don't mm. talk about sex. We don't know what sex is. Mm. You know what I mean? That's mm. true. That's a good one. But yeah, I think, I think that's any any anybody else got any other opinions or inputs in it? As to why what arrogant? Can you read that qu- um the question one more time? It's a really long question. <laughs> why guys? Uh, yeah, just yeah. Why are ignorant? Ar- ig- ignorant. You kept saying arrogant. I don't know why. Ignorant oh. guys who cannot respect the concept of women waiting till marriage to the, to have sexual intercourse. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Very straight up. If the guy can't respect that, then tell him to piss off. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Straight up. Just, he's not, he's not worth it. Even if yeah. he says, but I love you, I'll do this. Nah. Anybody that uses enough, love, yeah. If he yeah. loves you enough, he would wait he and wait. respect you. Mm. Yeah. And it works both ways. Yeah. Guys, girls. Or even... Guys, guys, girls, girls, you know, it works both ways. You know same, what I mean? Same same, same, same thing. Yeah, same difference. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, yeah. guys? Yeah. That's a wrap for this episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please continue to tune in. Um, you can find the full audio on Spotify and YouTube. Um, please don't forget to follow us and share us with your family and friends. Talks with N on Instagram. And until next time, please remember you have the choice to what you accept in life. Bye. Bye.